Let's talk about some interesting Ryobi gadgets that I purchased over the years. So I have five interesting things that I'm going to tell you about that you may not have seen when you're shopping around at Home Depot. So the first one is this cordless rotary tool. So it's kind of like a Dremel type of tool and it's battery operated. So this is pretty cool. It has a lot of different attachments. I bought this a few years ago and I used it really heavily when I purchased it. Um, I haven't used it a lot recently. This rotary tool is $90 and it's just like a handy little thing to have, especially I, I used it the most for like really intricate sanding and it's nice that it's battery operated and I found that it, it held up the battery life. The battery lasted quite a while um, when using the tool. It's the speed is variable so you can adjust it with this little dial, um, but this is like a handy little thing if you're looking for something like this. The next one is just a nifty little gadget, which is this little laser level. So this is perfect for if you're hanging stuff um, and it has a little laser light to help you get a nice straight line if you're hanging things. I couldn't find this exact one. I've had it for a few years. They sell a different one now, which actually can like suction to the wall. So I guess that's their, their more recent model. This was like around $30, which is kind of high for a laser level. Um, but it's interesting. It's one of those things that when you need it, it's handy to have it, but it's not something you're going to use all the time necessarily. Um, but I thought this was a cute little cube and it, this one, you can pin it to the wall. It, has, it comes with like a little push pin so you can stick it to the wall temporarily. Um, but like I mentioned, the newer one, it has like a suction feature. I don't think I'll be buying one cause I just don't need two laser levels. Um, but that, that looks really cool. Okay. The next one, I just bought this on black Friday this year. This is a cordless flexible lamp, which can also clamp on to different surfaces or, or your bench or different things like that. So I bought this cause my, where my sanding machine is, my belt sander and my spindle sander is, there's like a little bit of a dark spot there. So I wanted to have a light to kind of just use as a spotlight to double check and check out my sanding. Um, situation so I've been using this for that and it's worked really well and again it, it uses the rechargeable batteries okay the next one is cool and fun and you may not have seen this but Ryobi makes a hot glue gun which uses their their 18 volt batteries and this is awesome I don't use it a ton as with most of these things but it's just one of those things when you need to hot glue something it's so handy to have just a battery operated one it takes a little while to heat up so you just have to like give it some time to you know warm up so that the glue will get hot but it works really well i, I like the the hot glue gun a lot so this is 40 dollars, and again that's for the tool only all these prices are just tool only prices they don't include batteries okay i saved my absolute favorite one for last which is the portable inflator I use this a ton and I use this mainly for like blowing the dust out of my hair or off my face or off my clothes after I'm done sanding or working in the shop and it's super handy for that. It also works well for blowing the dust off of pieces after you've done sanding and things like that. It doesn't like, it's not extremely high powered. So it's not necessarily getting like every speck of dust off. You might have to still use like a, a tack cloth or something like that, but this works amazing just for blowing the dust off your clothes. If nothing else, this inflator is $35 for the tool only. Now this is the third one that I've owned because I've broken a lot of them. I think that the dust gets in this little, like the intake area. Um, actually, I don't, I don't know if that's the intake area now that I mention it, but I don't know. I think it just gets dust in the motor somehow from just being in a dusty wood shop. And I think it just stops working. So the, the third one, this, this one that I most recently purchased, I actually ended up getting the extended warranty, which was only a few dollars. So if it breaks again, then I'm, I'm hoping that I can just get it replaced for free and, and not have to keep spending the $35 on a new one, but it is something really handy. I don't have like an air compressor or anything like that. So I like this a lot. And obviously you can also use it for inflating or deflating things as well. And it comes with two different attachments for doing that too. So those are my five interesting, unique Ryobi gadgets that I really like that I purchased. And I also have a few honorable mentions that, you know, I would be remiss if I didn't mention these in this video. Um, so I started as a woodworker by purchasing the circular saw and drill combo from Ryobi, which at the time was $99. 
I checked the price now, it's $150 now. But this is what I started with when I took on the hobby of woodworking about four years ago. So these have served me really well. I still use the drill almost every day. I've actually purchased a second drill, so now I have two because you can just never have enough drills. And if I'm being completely honest with you, I actually have three because I recently just purchased this hammer drill. I'm not giving this much attention because I have not used it at all yet, um, but I'm looking forward to drilling into some cinder block with this Ryobi hammer drill, also battery operated. So we're three drills deep over here. My other honorable mentions are, actually this, this one should be on my top list, but I have the 18 gauge brad nailer. I just don't have it here, but I love that and I've used it a lot too. So that's the 18 gauge brad nailer from Ryobi, the battery operated one, doesn't require an air compressor. That tool is $100 for just the tool. And then my other honorable mentions is that I have the Ryobi miter saw, uh, the corded miter saw with the stand. Those are good. I'm not an expert in miter saws, but I know that it's served me very well for the past three years. I've used it very heavily and I have not maintained it properly at all. Um, it has dried up glue all over it from cutting stuff with wet glue, but it's it's been a workhorse for me and that's going into the honorable mention category. And then the last thing, which I do feel strongly about this honorable mention, which is the Ryobi belt sander. I've had that also for th about three years now and I use that thing all the time and it's never had even the slight hiccup. Um, so that one uses the four inch by 36 inch belt sandpaper and it also has a small disc on the front too. I never use the disc but I love the belt and it's very easy to change the belt so that tool has been a really amazing tool. That was like one of the first things that I bought. I thought about it for a long time. The belt sander is $200 and I was like, oh God, this feels like so much money to spend on a, a tool. Cause again, I was just working with the circular saw and the, the drill. And I think by that time I probably had the miter saw as well. So those are my few honorable mentions. Now I do have one I do not recommend from Ryobi. Um, I bought their pin nailer the 23 gauge pin nailer and I used it for a day, very light use and it broke like almost immediately. The, the pin stopped firing accurately and it, it would get jammed up on like every single shot. Like it worked for a little while and then all of a sudden it just stopped working and then it would just, every single time I tried to fire it, it would just get jammed up. So that was annoying. I didn't end up exchanging it. It could have just been an issue with that particular one. So I did end up going for actually the Milwaukee pin nailer over the Ryobi. So venturing into that territory, now I'm in a new battery world. I stuck with Ryobi mainly because it's like, once you start investing in a certain brand's batteries, um, I don't know how interchangeable they are, but I know like with the pin nailer from Milwaukee, it uses the very small battery. So certainly I, you know, I, ha I had to venture into new territory there, but that one has worked out amazingly. So, so that was a good upgrade. But for the most part, I love all of the Ryobi tools that I bought. I have a lot of them and I use them very heavily and they've served me really well. So I hope you found something that you liked in this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.